Hi everyone, welcome back to the BarcodeArena.com YouTube channel. We get a lot of questions from customers about which barcode scanners to buy. The difference is between them and which is the correct one you should choose. This video is a buying guide for beginners what to look for when choosing the right barcode scanner to buy for your business. We're going to focus on wired and wireless categories of scanners. Those you'll plug into your PC, laptop, Chromebook, MacBook, or Bluetooth pair to your iPad, iPhone, Android, tablet. I put into the description below links to scanners on our website that my team recommends. These are the ones that we found hold up the longest, perform the best, and have little to no design imperfections. You can reach us via phone or email through our website. We're here Monday through Friday or you can order from us online 24 seven all year round. Um, we've been doing scan barcode scanners for over 25 years and, and we do really enjoy these videos, making them for you. It helps you answer questions that are really hard to find on the internet and, and we just love to help you guys and get you over the hump. So probably the most common question <laughs> we get is, will this work with my computer? Really all you need is a text field. So whether that's a spreadsheet you have open on the computer, a notepad document, Word document, email body, or another accounting or inventory software, as long as you have that flashing cursor in the field where you would normally type from your keyboard, the scanner will output scans into any field you have selected in any program. So in that program, you've got a text field, click your mouse in that field to get your cursor in there, scan a barcode, it'll scan right into that field. Point of sale cash registers though, those are a bit more complicated because they're gonna have emulation software sometimes, they might need custom programming on point of sale cash registers. So if you're doing a POS system scanner, reach out to us first so we can help you make sure it's compatible. But if you're if it's not POS and you're just scanning to a PC, Chromebook, iPad, MacBook, anything like that, then it's gonna be usually pretty straightforward. So we'll start with the types of barcodes, which is another common question. What is a 1D barcode scanner versus a 2D barcode scanner? 1D barcodes are the most common. These are, some people call them a picket fence barcode because all the black lines make it look like a fence. UPC is at, a term you'll hear often, is actually a type of 1D barcode. And there's other types of 1D barcodes that they all look like this, but there are different types or essentially fonts. One, code 39, code 128, interleave 205. These are all different types of barcodes. They're called symbologies. Again, essentially a, a font. It, each different one has different encoding features, which gets into more of the advanced levels that you really don't need to know for a beginner's guide. Most people already have barcodes on products and, and simply just need to scan them into your computer. 1D scanners will only scan these 1D barcodes. 2D scanners will scan both 2D and 1D, which is another common question. 2D barcodes also have different symbologies. QR code, which is this, is the most common. And then you've got other 2D symbologies like data matrix. Data matrix looks very similar to this as well. And there's there's more types of 2D barcodes as well. So 1D scanners are really great when you have barcodes that are in close proximity to each other. So if you had a few of these barcodes within a few inches of each other, then 1D is going to be the way to go. You put your red, the red horizontal laser across the barcode to read it. It's really accurate. 2D scanners use and enhanced image processing, which means when you have barcodes near each other like that, that 
2D scanner may end up picking up a barcode nearby that you didn't intend to read. So if you don't have a lot of barcodes grouped close together, then 2D's a good choice. Most companies are going with 2D nowadays, as long as you don't have those closely grouped barcodes. Also, 2D scanners will read uh, barcodes on phone screens and computer screens. 1D scanners will not do that. Um, as you go up in price, you'll get better performance. What I mean by that is the cheapest 2D scanner is going to read a barcode on a phone screen the slowest. And then the higher performance scanner you choose, you'll get a lot faster split second scanning. Again, based on what you're scanning, I'll help or, and my team will help you pick out the right scanner and we can help you make sure you're getting the right fit and not overspending or underspending. That's the difference between 2D versus 1D. We'll try to keep it as simple as we can and we'll move on to wired scanners. It's cable, plugs into the bottom of the scanner, the other end into the computer, usually USB, which is plug and play. All of these scanners, they will support other interfaces like serial, nine pin, um, although most people are doing plug and play USB now. If you need another type of cable, we can help you locate that. But every scanner we send does include a USB cable just for initial setup, just to make sure you can test it. Again, most people are using USB anyways. All of these scanners are gonna scan barcodes into your program. Where they differ is the body style and ruggedness and range. For example, here is the most basic 1D wired scanner. It's corded, it's handheld, you pull the trigger, point, shoot, scan. Moving down, this scanner, it stands upright on the desk by itself. So you can actually wave barcodes in front of it to read automatically without having to touch the scanner whatsoever. And you can see it has a little trigger here as well so you can pick it up and use it as a handheld too. And it's also a 2D, 1D, so it just makes it a really versatile scanner that we really like. So you can start to see how pricing gets higher as you gain more features and versatility. This last scanner is a rugged scanner for rough environments, and it, ac it actually comes in a long range and short range version. Long range is for forklift drivers mainly, so that a forklift driver can read a barcode from 5, 15, 25, and even up to 70 feet on certain models without having to get out of the driving position. So he can read pallets and racks without having to get up out of his seat. Long range scanners, they do need special retro reflective barcode labels to achieve the maximum distances beyond about 5 to 10 feet. You could get around 10 to 15 feet on a long range scanner with just a big eight and a half by 11 barcode printed on a regular non-reflective label. But when you're doing true long range scanning in the 20 plus foot range, you really wanna make sure your warehouse is outfitted with the right type of reflective label. And then the standard range version is shipping, receiving, close range reading from a few inches to a couple feet. Just click, 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 scan quickly. You really want to get a standard range scanner if you're doing standard close range scanning because it'll be faster. Long range scanners are nearsighted, so they're designed to scan from further distances. When you try to use a long range scanner in a close proximity application, it's not going to be as efficient for you. And if you need more clarification on that, you can always ask. So we'll move on to wireless now. These scanners are obviously battery powered. They come with a cradle to charge. Here's the most basic version of your basic wireless scanner. Here's the cradle to charge it. And the cradles will usually charge via a USB cable, which plugs into your computer. The cradle also has a wireless radio in it. When you scan, it'll send the barcode from the scanner to the cradle, and then the cradle will input the scan to the computer through USB. This is the, that's the most plug and play setup. You can also direct pair this scanner to a phone or tablet via Bluetooth instead of using the cradle for transmitting, which a lot of people do this too. So the cradle 
doesn't have to be for communicating. You can just use it as a charger and direct pair the scanner instead of having to rely on the cradle for communication. These also range in how far the wireless transmission will go. So the base model like this will do around 50 feet. And as you move up in performance and price, a scanner like this will transmit up to 300 feet. And this model too has a presentation cradle, which is really nice. You can scan barcodes hands-free while it's in the charger, so you don't have to touch it while you're using it. And then if you need to go do wireless scanning, you can just pick it up and do that as well. And most of these wireless scanners support a memory mode. So you can take the scanner, scan a bunch of barcodes, it'll store it on the scanner's memory, and then you bring it back to the computer and scan a dump barcode from the manual, which will just dump all the barcodes you scanned into a notepad document. So that's a nice feature too, although most people are just sending scans instantly from the scanner to the PC, whether you're doing it on a spreadsheet or, or an inventory program. This last setup right here is actually really popular for us. It's a hands-free wearable scanner that wears on your finger, and you've got a little thumb trigger right here. It's great for high performance environments where you need two hands. We have four packs of these, and we also do four packs of them that come with wrist mounted Android devices so that the scanner is paired to a wrist mounted Android device so you can use your inventory system. That setup is for a different video. These will pair to iPads, iPhones, tablets, MacBooks, whatever, anything running Bluetooth basically. These finger scanners, we do customers will call us and after they've bought another type of scanner and realize they had a scanner in their left hand and a phone in the right hand realizing you have no hands to do anything <laughs> so this setup will free you from having both hands full which is nice that's really the basic introduction again any other questions you have call us we really appreciate everyone's support over the years and we look forward to working with you guys for another 25 plus years. We're proud to be a local business supporting you guys and, and our community. So please don't be shy about reaching out for assistance whenever you need scanners. We find it's better to ask if you're unsure. It just cuts down on waste and helps you make the right choice the first time. And thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it, guys.